Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is 23rd day of January, being Monday, and we pray not that time of the church calendar year A. And readings will be coming from letter St. Paul to the Hebrew, chapter 9, verse 15, verse 24 to 28. A response to Psalm will come from Psalm 98. Verse 1a and b. A gospel message will come from Mark Gospel chapter 1, verse 23 to 30. And the theme of our message today is Kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. Kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. How do we come about this? We're told in the book of Hebrew that Christ is the mediator of the new covenant. He became a mediator of the new covenant, having abolished the first one. How did he do that? He did it by offering himself once and for all in a sacrifice, and thereby take away our sins, our transgressions, our transgressions. And that's what he did. He entered the, the other priests have been entering yearly and yearly, suffering. And, but Christ went only once. And the then a man will die only once. And he went in and offered himself. Other priests went to the, into the sanctuary to offer sacrifice with the blood of bulls. But he went in to offer the sacrifice with himself. And thereby brought, bring a new order. Having removed the old order, he now put a new order by this. That will become the mediator of a new covenant. I haven't become a mediator of the new covenant. That's why today in the gospel message, we're told that Jesus went about preaching and teaching in the synagogues in Jerusalem. He was teaching and teaching in Jerusalem. And was casting out demons. And the scribes and the Pharisees who came down from Jerusalem said, he is possessed by Beelzebub. And by the prince of demons, he cast out demons. The people came. They saw him doing this wonderful work, healing people, casting out demons. And they condemned the work he's doing. He's done it. He's possessed by Beelzebub, the prince of demons. And they cast out demons by this prince of Beelzebub. And Jesus, when he perceived this, asked them, how can Satan, according to himself, I say, how can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, it will get ruined. Yes. So, a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. So the devil cannot be. So if the devil is working against the devil automatically, their kingdom is finished. And then he told them again. If that is where the kingdom of God held, that Satan will come to an end. But he made them to know that when a strong man is in his house, Everything has to be safe. But when a stronger man comes to him, he will fight him, defeat him, and take away all his, all what he boasts with as a spoil of war. Yes, you can't defeat another king without being stronger than him and without going to war with him. So he's making them to know that for you to conquer devil, you must be above the devil. Demon himself. And now why Jesus begins to make them to understand this very message. Truly I say to you, all sins committed by men are forgivable. All the blasphemies against the Son of Man are forgivable. But any blasphemy against the Holy Spirit is 
unforgivable because it's a, it's a, it's a sin. It's an eternal sin. It's eternal sin. It cannot be forgiven. He said it because they were saying he was, he has unclean spirit. You can say anything, but you don't blaspheme against the Holy Spirit of God. When you see what the Spirit of God is doing, if you don't know it, you keep quiet, quiet. But for you to blaspheme against the Spirit of God, that's such a sins are not forgivable. It's eternal sin. For you there to say that is unclean spirit, for you to say this thing is not true, for you to see the work of God and condemn it, for you to see the poor work of the Holy Spirit and condemn it, then you are, coming, you are blaspheming against the eternal, uh, 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 the spirit of God, which is eternal sin. And now why haven't made us to know a kingdom divided against you cannot stand for sure. A household against itself cannot stand. A country against itself cannot stand. Now we have confusion in Nigeria. We against them. We against them. We owe them, we destroy them, we owe them, we lose them. If they don't agree, we kill them. That's the type of thing we hear today. If like this, boasting all over the place, with all amount of impunity and wantonness, that they own Nigeria, and they will, they will put every person under themselves. Yes. And that's why you see them fighting and doing every wanton act to prove that they are the owners of the people who are their slaves that have colonized us. But God is saying is not true. That we want to reunite back this country. Come next election, we must unite this country. We are brothers and sisters. And now when the same is one that stood this message so well today, say, Oh, sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. Yes. Has shown us the power of God, the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, in mediating between us and God, and being able to heal us, cast out demons that will heal us our disease and every other thing. Not that prophet have been able to do that. Who can be for him? None of them could ever do that. But he has done it to show that he's the supreme God. And people who want to compare Jesus with other prophets are making a lot of mistakes. He's above a prophet. So I will celebrate a kingdom divided against cannot stand. Let's make it clear today. Anytime you're against yourself, you will not stand. Family against itself will not stand. Country against itself will not stand. The kingdom of devil against his kingdom of devil, Satan against Satan will not, their kingdom will come to an end. It will not stand. So the unity among us is what matters. And that's why Jesus said that the way the people will know you are my disciples is unity and love among you. They will understand the need for today for unity among us. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate our ability not to divide against ourselves. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.